everybody welcome back to my channel so today is Tuesday and it's May the 7th already we've already lived through the first week of May I just it's hard to believe time is the older every time I turn a year older then the next year seems to fly by even faster um, how do y'all feel about that do you think that as you get older time goes by faster or I don't know, when I think back to when I was raising my my family, sometimes it seemed like time flew by and then other times it seemed like it dragged by. I think I, I thought that it dragged by um, on the days that I was at work, sitting in an office trying to do my job and wanting to be home with the kids and, and doing other things. But And then there were other times when I each year that I saw my children, how much bigger they got, it seemed like time was flying by. But anyway, no matter if it's fast or slow, I'm gonna get out there and enjoy the sunshine today. It is so pretty. Um, it's about noon time and I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for lunch. Sometimes I'll mix up some pimento and cheese with that Hellman's mayonnaise that Will sent me and make me a pimento and cheese sandwich. And other times I'll mix up tuna fish and make me a tuna fish sandwich. I love putting a boiled egg in it and sweet relish and Hellman's mayonnaise. Sometimes I'll chop up celery and onions just to give it a little crunch. Of course, chicken salad is great with um, grapes or apples in it. I love it whenever it has that sweet crunch to it. It is so good. Uh, I don't care for the canned chicken much. If y'all know a way to prepare it that, that you like it, <laughs> let me know. Um, I don't know if I, if you wash it to get that tin can, you know, flavor off of it or what, but let me know if you make um, chicken salad with it and what do you do to make it taste better and not like it came out of a tin can. Today I'll probably just make me a grilled cheese and I, I do have a few cans of tomato soup that I picked up at Dollar Tree for $1.25 a can. But I, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a, in a while. Uh, Y'all let me know, how, have they gone up from $1.25 to $1.50 or $1.75? The last time that I did go, I think I made a video about it. Uh, everything that I purchased was still $1.25. I went ahead and bought me another pair of those pink rim glasses that I wear all the time. They're just reading glasses. Um, I'm trying, still trying to get used to my prescription glasses, but it's like they're bow-legged or something, bow-eared. <laughs> it's just such a thing as having bow-eared. Look how they go out at the sides, and they're, they're just uncomfortable. I just, I guess they look okay on me. What do y'all think? <laughs> I just don't like the, the way that they're bowed out here at the sides. I need to go back to cheaper peepers and um, have them. They heat up the the arms of the glasses and bend them back. I've tried to do it with a hair dryer, but I'm terrified I'm going to break them. And these are Italian uh, frames. I got them on sale for real cheap. They're Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo. But, um, Cheaper Peepers always has a glass case in there where they have designer frames on sale at a good price. So I thought, well, the Italian ones, Italian made, you know, anything made in Italy or France is going to be wonderful. So <laughs> I went ahead and got those, but I'm not happy with them. I love my old uh, reading glasses from Dollar Tree, though. Uh, Jill was saying that she has to squint to see the computer, so... <laughs> I bought her a pair that were 125 magnifying, and she said that they made everything blurry, so I went back and got another pair that were 100 magnifying, so I think she's, she's probably embarrassed to wear them because, you know, when you turn 40 and you're young and you're in your 40s, you really, of course, she's 43 now, but <laughs> you just don't want to have to admit that you need that first pair of reading glasses. Anyway, did y'all watch any of the arrivals at the, of the Met Gala last night? Y'all, that is just seems like such a big waste of time and, and money. I mean, those um, actresses and people who think that they're famous, like the Kardashians, all, all the Kardashian girls were there except for the oldest one. What's her name, Courtney? 
she doesn't really partake in all of the glitz and glamour that Kim and Kim and Kendall and Kylie do. Is that her name, Kylie? Um, anyway, they're beautiful, but Kim had her waist, that designer that made her dress, um, had her waist so cinched up, she had to be uncomfortable. I bet, I bet she hasn't eaten in three days just, just to be able to get into that corset and that dress. But it was a beautiful dress. But she had on an old tacky sweater that looked like something came from the Salvation Army uh, donor box. So I don't know what the purpose of it, of the old sweater, the old gray sweater that she had wrapped around her shoulders. But her dress was beautiful and uh, Nicole Kidman's dress was very pretty. I didn't understand how hers fit in with the theme, though. It was some type of nature theme, I think, or garden theme. Um, I watched it, but it, it doesn't interest me as much as it used to. I, don't, I just think it's a waste of money. <laughs> uh, of course, I guess they don't have to pay for their dresses. They're long to them. I have never been to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but I have been to the other one, the... Um, Museum of Modern Art, they call it MoMA, M-O-M-A. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but the, day, the time that I went was when Jason and his girlfriend had come to visit us, and I was still living in New Jersey at that time, and they stayed with me in that little uh, studio apartment, and I got an inflatable bed for them, and they slept there, but I didn't sleep the whole time because his girlfriend at the time it's not who he's married to now. Um, she had to sleep with the TV on, and Jason had to sleep with earplugs in his ears so that he could sleep. I mean, that's just the way that he slept every night, even in their own home. <laughs> but, I mean, she had the TV so loud, I, I couldn't even sleep. I thought it was so disrespectful. You know, she was going to have it her way, or, or we were going to have to go stay in a motel or something, I reckon. Anyway, I found uh, there's a new case that I'm very interested in, and it is out of North Carolina. Uh, her name is Micah Miller, and I'm sure many of y'all have already heard about it. She was only 30 years old, and she was found deceased. So it's just very interesting because it's probably going to end up being a high-profile case because her husband, whom they were separated, and she, they were in the process of getting a divorce. Uh, he's the pastor of a church there, and I'm not sure if it's Myrtle Beach or where, but the name of the church is Solid Rock. Uh, like I said, I've just started watching it and hearing about it, but there are a couple of channels that I do watch on YouTube that cover true crime, and they are covering this case, and I'm, I'm real interested in it. So I just wanted to mention that to see if, if y'all have heard about it and if you're interested in and if you're interested in following it, following it, because, um, I mean, I don't know. I really can't say that her husband, you know, had had a part in it or not. But, you know, it's really sad when just young people in general, um, you know, can't, can't get along and, and can't make their marriage work. But when it has to do with your, your, the pastor of your church, that really shakes up the entire community. So I'm just going to be praying for her. Her name is Micah Miller and her family. Um, she did not have any children, but she did have uh, his step, his children who were five, I believe five of those would, were her stepchildren. So y'all just remember this young lady, Micah Miller and her family in prayer. So I've got a, my sheets going in the laundry today and I do want to get out though. I need to go find a food pantry. I need some things for my uh, pantry and my refrigerator. So I'm going to look around in the community and it is Tuesday. Sometimes the churches will have a food pantry on Tuesday afternoon. So I'm just going to Google it and see what I can find and get the address. I'm not going to be running around burning up a lot of gas searching. I hope if any of y'all are in need of food that you will go online and look for a community food bank in your area and don't ever ever be embarrassed of going and uh, getting you a blessing basket so y'all please give me a thumbs up and if you know of anybody that would like to watch my videos please share and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe and y'all just keep on coming back bye